Hi, this is David with David's Tutorials, and in today's video, I'm going to tell you how to never have a stinky kitchen sponge again. Now, if you have ever used a dish sponge in your kitchen and let it sit or used it for a month or more, sometimes only a week or two, you know, P.U. That thing truly gets smelling bad. Now you know why that is, don't you? It's because it is a breeding ground for bacteria and the bacteria get in the sponge and they breed and they start smelling bad. Hey, it's the same reason people get BO, right? Bacteria when you forget to use your deodorant or when you have a towel in your bathroom and you leave it wet and you put it in the corner and it starts to get all stinky. It's stuff that's growing in there that starts smelling bad. Well, if there's bacteria in your kitchen sponge, what happens if you use that same sponge to wash your dishes? I don't know about you, but I don't want all that stinky smelling bacteria on my dishes when I wash them. My wife got so concerned about this, she started looking at ways to do it and she saw that, well, you had to boil the sponge. Oh, then you had to nuke the sponge. And then you had to do this and treat the sponge that way, and nothing seemed to work. And finally, I went to visit my sister up in North Carolina one time, and she had this spongy dishcloth, which seemed to work, and hers smelled pretty good, but then I learned, well, it was only about a week old, so we really didn't have a good read on whether, once it gets to be two weeks old, if it would be a breeding ground for stinky bacteria. So I started doing some research. And I came up with something that I found works really, really well. It's nothing more than this dishcloth. Now, I'm going to put a link to this dishcloth down there in the description section. And you can follow that link and buy one from that. And if you do, I'll get a little commission from it, maybe a nickel, who knows. But you can also go look it up for yourself. But I'm here to testify that this particular dishcloth, which... I think I got three of them for, well, I'm not going to say the price here because I just don't remember it. It's been years. Um, I'm going to print in the video down below how long it's been since I've had this dish sponge. This is the very first one I got in a pack of three. I gave away one of them to my daughter in Tulsa, and we still have the other one down there under the sink waiting to be used. May I have your attention, please? We interrupt this tutorial to bring you this late breaking news. David's Tutorials has just learned that despite the fact we have reported that this particular product has been in use for more than two years, in fact, what we have learned is it has been in use a shocking four years and two months from the making of this video. We put a link in the description section below so that you can figure out this product for yourself. We now return you to our regularly scheduled tutorial. It smells right now, you know what it smells like? Dish soap. And that's all it smells like. It smells good. Now, here's a little clip of my brother-in-law, Bill. I gave him this dish rag a few months ago and asked him to smell it. He's a very good sport. He says, okay, and he smelled it, and here's what he said. Bill, I'd like you to sniff this and tell me what it smells like. It smells like dish soap. Exactly right. Yeah. Now, we talked a second ago about dish sponges. If you had a dish sponge that was about a month or two old, what would that smell like? Oh, well, that would probably be pretty bad because the <laughs> cleanup counters. And... It'd be pretty raunchy, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, okay. and dirty looking. And... Now, doesn't that tell you with all the months, actually years, I've been using this, it's a much better thing. Now, look, let me see if I can bring this a little bit closer. You can see what kind of condition it's in. It's in really good shape for being as old as it is, and we are still using it. So I'm just waiting to see how much longer this thing is going to last. It smells fine. We, we leave a little bit of soap in it when we finish washing dishes and we rinse it out a little bit. But you know, soap is antibacterial. And anybody wants to sell you antibacterial soap, they're just indulging in a marketing gimmick. All soap is antibacterial, okay? 
that's just the way it is. So, in any case, uh, if you get a soap that has a chemical in it that is supposedly more antibacterial, well, it is, but you got to understand that if you don't kill all the bacteria with this antibacterial soap, you're going to make it stronger. So this is where we start getting these super bugs. We don't want to have to worry about that. Anyway, that's all I have to tell you about this particular no more stinky dish sponges. If you thought this was helpful, give us a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and then the bell icon so YouTube will notify you whenever we post another great tutorial right here on David's Tutorials. Take care, everybody.